is my first work and published. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I um, I'm a nanny. I work in Park Slope and um, Park Slope, Brooklyn, and I'm very excited to be a part of the Workers' Writers Group. This is I am not a poet. This is my first year doing poetry. My first year, like really doing any serious writing. So I really wanted to thank uh, Mr. Nook and um, the Workers' Writers Group poets for inviting me in such a divine space. I am really blessed and honored, and I thank you very much. So enjoy. You are deeply in love with me. When did that happen? 911, what's your emergency? Love me. I love my baby. I think there are a lot of writers out who write about workers. Uh, but to me, it was really important for workers to do the writing themselves. Uh, we don't hear that very often. We don't see that very often. It's usually journalists who are telling those stories, who go in, talk to workers, and then come back and out and write the story. But to me, this is a space for workers to come in and tell their stories themselves, to be their narrators, to use their voice, to communicate that through poetry and, and through story. Paranoia runs the place. I must have my gun. Children have no right to life. Weapons rule without a war. People don't look at people that are marginalized, that they have talents and they have created uh, ability. And in this, you can talk about like the Tonkas that we did uh, today, which was very, very, I just really was challenging, but it was excellent because you can say what you have to say in a certain amount of time and words learning about the different styles. And I think going to college and going in school, poetry was such a drag. I didn't like it, but I'm 64 and I love it. And I like that creativity. So it gives me a chance to unwind after I have gone out and did different rallies and lobbying and marching. So now I can go into that space that really I zonk out everybody and just think about a particular subject that I, in my imagination, that I want to talk about change. My first one is dedicated to the gentleman that was killed in Crown Heights mm. that was mentally ill. Mm -hmm. So keep him, his family in prayer. The sound, the pop, pop. Who is this that when dropped, dropped? Someone saying, I have stopped. Stop, stop. I honestly find the Work as Writers workshop to be one of the more, most fun experiences I have every month. It's great as an intellectual, but it's also great to hear the perspective of other people. So when you're in New York City, there's a lot of people who don't like taxi cab drivers because they're just people who are writing it, you know what I mean? But then when you hear it from their perspective as, hey, I've been in this one car all day, and I've had to speak to this many people who have dirtied this car that is basically my home away from home, or you hear from a domestic worker and you hear about how they take care of someone's kid and the kid looks at them like they're nobody. So I do like hearing about all the different perspectives and the different types of poetry and going there and analyzing things. It gives me the opportunity to help people pretty much from all walks, walks of life, and we're very big on teaching people about workers' rights. There's nothing better than that, than putting somebody through to a resource that they didn't know they could get. My English is not very good, so, so. Accept me, please. The high price to be at war makes me want to howl. Snotty hipster girl dissed me with a cursing tongue. Women with rhythm in their verbs talk laundry, pinched wages, long hours, live in. It's important that stories be told. They are essential. They are our medicines. They provoke, they heal, and they trigger.